brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you headlight replacement on this 97 uh, Cadillac DeVille, same as a 97 to 99. Tools you'll need are an E8 uh, star socket, or you could substitute a 7 millimeter socket. You'll also need a ratchet and extension, as well as a 10 millimeter uh, socket with uh, ratchet and extension and a Phillips screwdriver to uh, adjust the lights. Okay, first you're going to want to take your panel and just pull up a little bit. Okay, if you're just looking to replace the bulbs. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. I was hoping to show you that you could just uh, service the bulbs without removing the headlight, uh, but what I actually found was with my big hands, I really couldn't manipulate the bulbs out of the sockets. Uh, maybe if you have smaller hands, you're able to do that, uh, but what I found is it's actually easier just to remove the whole headlight assembly to get to the headlight bulbs, and removing the headlight assembly is not that difficult. And then right down there, Okay, remove this bolt. Okay, so technically the right uh, tool is an E8 star bit, but you can actually use a 7 millimeter socket that more people have in their toolbox. And then you stick your finger right in here to lift it up and out. forward and out. Okay, if you're just looking to change your bulbs, this one has a little thumb tab, counterclockwise. There's the bulb and over here. Okay, once that's out of the way, there's four, uh, two bolts and two nuts to remove. There's two nuts right there, top and bottom. Okay, there's one here and then one down here. You need a ratchet, a large extension, and a 10 millimeter. You don't really need this long of an extension. Okay, we're just going to speed up here as I remove those two nuts and two bolts. Okay, now you can pull the headlight forward. And now if you're just looking to service the bulbs, Okay, the headlights you twist, then pull out, okay, and then they unplug right here. Okay, these lower bulbs, kind of the same thing. Little thumb tab right there. Thumb tab, twist remove. The bulb just pulls out and pushes back in. Okay. If you're looking to, if you're looking because you broke your assembly, um, you, what you can do is you can disconnect your entire harness assembly here. I'm going to pull out this safety tab Okay, and then push on this tab here and disconnect it. The whole assembly comes out. The old headlight, new assembly from 1A Auto. It's a pretty low mileage car, so the headlights are still in good shape, but you can still even see that the 1A Auto one is much clearer. And now you want to switch over your harness. Okay, so a little 
clip here. Just squeeze the clip. And push it through. Going to fast forward here. Uh, basically, you're just uh, swapping the harness over to the new headlight. So you want to undo the clips, undo the uh, connections to the headlights, and then remove the uh, harnesses that go into um, the signals, and then transfer it all over the same way to your new light. And now the light's back in place. Just going to speed through putting those two nuts back on. And then the two bolts. I always start the nuts and bolts first, start all of them, and then go through and tighten them up afterwards. And complement it as well with a new parking light from Lonely Auto. And once the new light's installed, you can use a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and this adjusts side to side. Okay, counterclockwise points the light more to the right on this side. And then there's an adjusting mechanism here. Okay, you want to have this ball in the middle, and you turn this screw here. Figure out which way it is. Okay, it wants to go down a little bit. The car has to be on a level surface. And in comparing to the original light, uh, right there on the line is about where it should be. Uh, actually, the bubble, you might want to have it a little further forward. It's in and tight. Go down in place. And last but certainly not least. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.